Welcome back tubers. Day six and uh, had the weekend to do a little pain and bullshit. I'll show you what's going on. But uh, the big thing that I found out today is I called to try to have to turn the water on. Durham City, County, Water, whoever the hell it is, they won't turn on the water unless you send them a copy of the lease, your tax ID number, um, something else. So I've got to get all that information, get it to them, so then I can get the water turned on. You can't just call people anymore and say, I got some money, here's a deposit, hook me up. It doesn't work that way. So let's see what's going on here. I'm going to pull the camera off the stand. And uh, it's pink, baby. It's all going pink. We're putting in new white ceiling tiles. Over the weekend, I pulled down all the ceiling and decided to paint the grid just with a little damn roller. And uh, now I'm in the process of replacing all the tiles to get that brand new look. But it is actually coming together. You know, we got another room here all done. Ready to go. I just got to put a ceiling in it. But uh, it's pink, pink, pink. And we're pinking in here. Pinking in here. This stays brown. And then one small little thing I did. And, uh... Spent just a few bucks. I bought a vanity cabinet that I can stuff in there with some modifications. And a sink. I don't know if you can see it, but it half fits the vanity. So I'm going to put it there and then put some piece of marble or something that I can scrap in next to it. And it's a done deal. All right. So things are happening here. Three weeks. I got three weeks left to get this place remodeled, inspected and uh, open for business. Licensed, permitted, you name it. So there it goes. Man, it really does look nice with the ceiling tiles in place. I mean, this place now has that clean, professional look. I was gonna walk out the door, but I locked it. So I'm just going out the back. Man, that looks nice. I mean, this really looks nice. Hey tubers, it's the end of day 10. And uh, we're standing here in the back. And what you're looking at here is a nice clean bathroom. We've torn out all that water heater foolishness. Let me get back to get some perspective here. And right here in this corner is gonna go our vanity. I've replaced the ceiling tiles, but I didn't paint the grid. Too lazy, we're trying to get done cheap. But uh, pull off the tape, a little cleanup. We could be there in this room, of course. I finally today got permission, or got the copy of the lease. Monday I can get the water turned on, plumber, electrician, bingo. In here, this is the kitchen room, we're just painting this yellow. And uh, we'll get that sink hooked up. Heating and air, they got some problems. That's the landlord's responsibility, but uh, there's a few thousand that needs to be done to straighten that bad boy out. Okay, now all this crap will be going, and of course I'll be tightening up the ceiling a little just to make it right. Now we're coming into the new city area. This room, ceiling's complete, walls are painted. I need to pull off the blue tape around the bottom, clean the floor, it's done. Uh, hallway needs, no, Joe did the third coat of paint, cool. So hallway just needs to have the tape pulled up, paper pulled up, cleaned up. Same thing here in this room, ceiling's good, it's staying brown, and uh, tape and a clean up on the floors. Now this room came out really nice. This is the eyebrow room, or eyelash room. Very bright to do the work. Ceiling is white, walls are pink, double light. 
Don't have to do a damn thing in here in preparation for getting this bad boy ready to go. And then come out here and uh, besides wiring the water heater, my electrician is going to need to uh, put in a 2x2 two two and a 2x4 light. I left them out. What do you think of that ceiling, huh? Beautiful, isn't it? I painted the grids. I mean, a good job of painting the grid, putting an all new tile. This bad boy looks tight. We've recycled the TV stand. Somebody had left one in the back, so it looks usable. We'll find out. And uh, back here in the office closet, all those nasty black shelves and brown. We just slapped a couple of coats of pink on it and uh, whited out the shelves. We're in good shape. Yeah, good shape. Okay, so next week, today's day 10, and you see where we're at. At this point now, by Monday, I'll about be done all the work I can realistically do. At that point, I'll be turning it over to the tradesman, the electrician, the plumber, and whatever inspections are required to make this happen but for the most part the space is up and running a lot of work but a lot of hassle and now that I've got the lease in hand I can keep moving forward but see tiles like that back here they're all saggy they're brown stained from the water I don't know what was causing it but it's got to go. I've got this whole stack of tiles that were taken out. Some are good, some are so-so. And that's what I'll use just to fill in back here and uh, keep my cost down. All right, but everything's clicking along. It's been a week and a half of real time. This is the end of the first, well, Friday, first full week. And uh, I cannot believe how much we have accomplished. Susan came in today and cleaned all the blinds, the windows. Like I said, this is actually looking like nice rental space. Okay, well, I'm going to turn the lights off and uh, call it a day. Good morning tubers you know where I am it's the start of day 12 and uh, Sunday morning I'll bring you up to speed of what's going on here in the store but uh, the biggest problem right now I seem to be having is getting my hands on the lease they say they're sending it it didn't come attached it's being ch and until I get that lease I can't turn the water on and without the ability to turn the water on I no plumber, electrician, because those are two quickies. And then I can do all the final inspections, I think. But, uh, you know, that's, that's the big holdup. And there, it's been this way with the landlord since the start, as far as them dick-dogging around with paperwork. It's, it's kind of funny, but they're the only game in town so they got to play. Well, uh, and of course, to turn the water on, I need the lease, which I don't have. I've got my tax number. I've got uh, the water meter number and something else. I've got everything but the lease to send the water company all that information. Then I can talk to them, give them a deposit. They'll come out here. Of course, there might be an inspection or something involved before I can get them out here. But I don't even know that because I haven't gotten to step one. You know, just. Mm. And uh, I'm still not sure what the landlord is going to do about the heating and air system. He had his people out here to turn it on. It's pretty fried up. It's going to need a few thousand bucks worth of work to make it street legal. And if it ain't street legal, we can just call for an inspection because we're playing it legal. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, by the way, I just got my friggin' uh, 
you know, I had to pull up a million dollar tax bill or, or yeah, million dollar insurance. That was it, million dollar insurance policy to uh, pull this place off. Man, it's gonna run around a thousand bucks a year. You know, it ain't cheap getting in the door. But those are all the things you need. So let's, uh, let's walk around the store. Let me take it off the tripod here. We are actually looking pretty good here. As you can see, I'll start at the top. I've done the ceilings. That's where a two by two light needs to go. TV stands in place, need to put a plug right there for that. And my other electrical for the front is a two by four light here. Pretty damn simple. Hmm. You see that little gap there? I gotta put caulk in that. I'm going around right now finishing up all the baseboards, peeling the tape, cleaning them, touching them up so uh, everything looks really tight, really new. We've cleaned the blinds, we've cleaned the windows. Uh, man, I mean, this actually looks like a storefront. Hey, nobody's out in the parking lot. Let me unlock the door and I'll take you out and show you the front. Now we're in a TJ Maxx shopping center. Okay, and there, there's a Bojangles here. We've got a Chili's up here. Subway up on the corner. You know, Subway's always a favorite because of the family connection. Yeah, that and about five bucks will get me a sandwich. All right, we got a new barber shop. Ron the Man's there. There's TJ Maxx and uh, Joanne's Hibachi Grill. Now they have, all right, food, but big customer base. We're gonna pull some people from there. And then here's our storefront right on the corner. 1,600 square foot. But uh, it's nice, you know. Hey, it's workable. So let's go back inside. It's starting to sprinkle. That's uh, Rufus from the Mexican restaurant, the owner just pulling in. I'm trying to meet everybody around here. Because uh, as of today, this is Susan's last day at work. Uh, everybody's unemployed. We're all putting our eggs in this basket. I've got a job lined up for November, but really, if we don't pull this off, our goose is going to be cooking a little bit. And in here, the closet, we've done the shelves white, and uh, I've got to tune up those edges still. I brought some magic marker. That's what I've been using to get rid of all the overpaint from the old yellow and everything else. Looks great, don't it? Original floor, because we're doing this on the cheap. We stuck with the original floor. And see this up here, that's the original ceiling grid. When you see the grid in the back room or any of these yellow rooms, it's all yellow. I repainted all that with one of those little two inch rollers. What a pain in the ass that was. And going down the hallway here though, doesn't it look so nice and clean? But see down here, I'm working my way down and everything, all the rooms are painted. And uh, this is our eyelash room, but look at that, a brand new ceiling up there, perfect. The pink walls, once I get the floor and the baseboard cleaned up, this is another room, put some switch covers on, ready for business. And see, some of these rooms, they'll have no light switches. This is one with a light switch, but it's not on because of the way it's wired. They really did the Funkadelic wiring on this place. But another room, all painted pink. Those boxes that now you can see are uh, the furniture. The uh, esthetician stations. Yeah, that's the right word, esthetician stations. And uh, then this room here is also painted. Got no light in here, but uh, just got to pull off the tape. Now this is still original yellow ceiling, but we're living with it. Now back here in the big room, this is what the store originally looked like. Brown on brown on crappy brown. And it was a beauty salon or something because there's all these old stations for uh, hair washing, but we're not using this room other than this will be the break room 
things in the back and the customers will just walk down the hallway and this, for the most part just have a table maybe a refrigerator in here and uh, it'll be empty and they'll go back here to the bathroom now I've still got to put all of this ceiling together still because every tile that's got water stain or something like that I've got all these leftover reasonable tiles from the front that I'm going to try to reuse and spruce this ceiling up the heating air unit is sad that pan is not right that's why this thing's draining they've tried to stop it with bags or whatever they got to straighten this out with a real deal and uh, that's not my problem now let's come into the bathroom nice yellow color I still can't turn the power on here but once I get water I can hook things up do it walls are painted baseboard and floors need to be cleaned re-glued Joe did this all himself now see this is what it looks like if you just white sealing it with the uh, yellow grid or yeah, brown yellow for the bathroom because we're trying to move we're gonna live with it I've made that decision and uh, it looks good I thought we could spruce up the ceilings by painting them but really you're better off just replacing the tile even if you don't do the grid and uh, we're gonna go with the same linoleum floors because it's just a bathroom for the the shop and it'll be nice and clean and I could use it that's all that counts now in here we are gonna hook up this sink and uh, this has got a counter in it but there's no power in this room oh well but it's all painted but what has to happen now is all the tape has to come off and the baseboards re-glued and that's my big job today is working the baseboards around the store if I can get those knocked out today that'll be something else now Monday I'll be fooling with trying to do the water stuff this is where that TV stand came from originally we're repurposing the other one and uh, there's our panel fire lights you know it's hey it's a store but uh, it is what it is day 12 the start of day 12 I kind of look at it like every day I'm here I'm spending a hundred dollars just to walk around this place and I can't afford that and everybody now is friggin unemployed my god you talk about crazy stupid but you're either all in or you're all out I gotta say though the store really does look great I mean this place it looks professional oh I forgot to say now we're having some trouble getting the Wi-Fi finished hooked up but you know that's just Time Warner Cable shit this was the original countertop that looked really rough and uh, there's still some spots where it's not perfect but who cares it's hard it's nice this is something the customers can work on and if Susan wants I can even fix that spot with a little sanding but again I'm not worried about it I think this looks acceptable enough it's black it's pink let's just friggin roll yep no this is something Susan can do business out of realistically and right now the parking lot's empty but I've been here every day. This place is a jammed little shopping center. I didn't think so. But, uh, hopefully we can build a business here. Can you see across the highway to where they're selling those pumpkins? There we go. Well, that used to be at Daryl's. When I first moved here, I don't even know if Daryl's might not even exist anymore in the world restaurants chain of them small chain and uh, that was just a two-lane road going between Durham and Chapel Hill 
I don't even think any of this was here. Where the dealership was, was a crappy little motel. And, uh, I think that was about it. The bow came shortly after. Started day 13. I find it this morning, it's Monday morning, got an email from the friggin' landlord with the attachment, so I have the lease to, to get to the water company, try that whole route, but it's a holiday, Columbus Day, so I can't really do nothing. Hey, but here's something I just wanted to put up because I need to really be showing this. Look at that. All right. Yes, Wabrow Threading Spa. Opening soon.